Shams and Mascara and we are going to be doing something spooky because we're in spooky season. Yes, it's Halloween season and I'm going to be taking you through the Mascara Spider Gel Collection. Um, I know you have probably bought Spider Gel before and what's happened is, is it's probably lying in a drawer somewhere because you've given up on the spidey and I'm here to tell you guys don't give up on the spidey gel I'm gonna be sharing some tips with you to make working with spider gel a little bit more of a pleasure you're gonna love it it's gonna be so much easier once I show you how I work with the mascara spider gel so spidey gel is available in black and white and silver there's gold and there's some neon colors as well but it's a super sticky formulation as you can see nothing goes anywhere with this spidey gel um, and it's designed to create these strings so you're gonna like spin the strings around over the nail drop them down on the nail and it just creates an abstract abstract look Oops. or you can actually do a line look like a really defined line look so we are gonna do just that with our silver spider gel and we are going to be doing a spider's web today so before we get all tangled in a web of long discussion let's take you into just how to work with the spider gel and just how to create a very simple web design which will be super cute for this Halloween season so first things first, let's share a little tip with you. So in the bottom of my little plastic dish, and this is actually the base of my soak off dish, I've got some hot water. And I'm gonna place little Spidey in that hot water just to warm him up a little bit. This is actually just gonna warm the gel up a little bit so that it's not too sticky or too stiff. Because sometimes, because they're standing and because of the temperature of the room that you may be in, it can get very stiff and hard to work with. So we are just putting it in the hot water just to soften it up a little bit and the heat of the water definitely won't do any damage to your spidey product. And while we have that going, I'm just going to start by explaining what we've done to prep our nail. So I have done two coats of our mascara black jack and I've also covered it with the velvet matte top coat so this is the finish that I'm looking for you don't have to do the velvet matte top coat you could do the shiny with the carbon or non-white finish it's entirely up to you but this is what I've decided I would like the base of my spider web to look like so I'm going for the matte black look so we're going to start off by using a dotting tool so you want something with a sharp edge or something that's going to pick up your spider gel quite nicely and then you want to have a little ball of plastic um, this is for the purposes of my own sanity <laughs> so i use the plastic and i would normally just take my spider gel and plonk it down on the plastic and then we're good to go and everything stays in place and my jar isn't flying around with the spider gel it just makes the whole working procedure so much easier so let us get started with our spider's web right so here we go guys opening up our pot so this is our silver it's almost like a, a white gold so with a very heavy silver sparkle in it so there's a lot going on with that color and it's going to look quite pretty on my black hmm, i'm excited for that and as you have noticed um i just want to show you because i had my spider gel in the hot water this one hasn't been in hot water so you can actually see it's still kind of like leaving the trails of when i used it previously um and this one i've had in the hot water so it's settled and it's almost viscosity has changed a little bit so it's almost gone slightly softer um, so it's easier to work with so we're gonna start I am to the best of my ability going to talk you through this step by step so we're gonna start off by creating the first line of our web and you see how nice the the actual um, stick has helped me out here just to keep things in place and if needs be, I'm just going to add a little bit of more. 
be stick to the base of my jaw just to make sure it's stuck 100%. You ain't going nowhere, Spidey. And now it's easier for me to work with. So now you don't have a jaw that's moving around and doing all sorts of funny things. And I'm going to start by working in the corner of the nail. Now, yes, my nail has been turned upside down, but you're actually going to turn your customer's hand that way as well. So you're going to turn her hand so that the nails, the three edges are facing her, the customer, and you are looking at the nail from the cuticle area. You're probably going to get gel onto the nail, or well, I should say onto the skin, but just make sure you clean that up with your cleanser 100% once you're done. Right, so here we go. So starting from the one corner, we are going to go on across the nail and we're going to bring that trail back down. Right, so that's my first line. I'm actually just going to move my jaw a little bit closer to the center so that we don't go out of frame. And I'm creating the lines of the web. So you kind of want to work over the jaw and you want to pick up one trail. So I'm going to connecting, connecting the line in that corner. I'm going to go down, stop where you want to stop and then bring it back over the same line. So now we're creating these straight lines across the nail. Right, and we're going to continue on this side, and we're going to bring it back. So as you can see, our lines are starting to build of the web, and we're going to keep going, creating these lines. Make sure you don't pick up a double line. If you do, just go back into your jaw, and clean off your tool and then just pick up another line again and don't stress about the lines in the beginning if one line is slightly thicker than the other line that's okay we're starting out here and you are actually going to learn how to control the spider gel so we're just going to take that little edge off there and then you won't have those sort of line differences let's call it like some lines thicker than the other lines as you learn to control this product so that is going to be the first part of my spider web um, and as you can see I've got some nice lines going and I think it really does help when you actually put your spider gel in some warm water right so now we're going to start by doing the actual web and again I'm going to pick up one trail and we are going to start at the top and we're going to spin our web around and that's my first line and it doesn't matter if those lines are finer because we perceive with the spider's web here so it doesn't matter if some lines are thicker and some lines are thinner but i'm just going to spin around go and I'm also going to show you that if you want to go back and thicken up some lines you can do that right so we're gonna keep adding our lines and just be careful that you don't get a double trail because that was a double trail you want to get one little trail of spider web going here right and you can keep those bottom lines open. If you want to, you can add an extra line. I think I'm going to add just a thin extra line to the web at the bottom. Just a thin line. Um, and maybe I want to thicken that first line up a little bit more. So I'm going to go exactly onto that trail. just to thicken up that line a bit more and there we go we have our little spider web in place and now we are ready to add 
any little embellishments to this that we feel we need to. So we're going to cure this for 60 seconds. So our little spider web is just coming out of the curing lamp. And what we can do now is because it's sticky, we're going to wipe it with our cleanser. And if you feel that you want to seal it, you can, but I'm not going to seal it. It actually doesn't need to be sealed. I've already got my velvet mat at the bottom and that's going to turn back to matte once my cleanser is dried. There we go. And I've already got my design of my web in place. And if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of bling to that like we did with this spidey. We just stuck two gems of different sizes so small one for the head and a medium size for the body and we gave our spidey some legs using the mascara blackjack gel so that's going to come up as a shiny finish so you can really see your spidey there so this is a great way to get used to working with mascara spider gel it's really not difficult to work with it just requires a little bit of practice and I promise you, once you've got the art of the spider gel, it's something that you're going to use in a lot of your nail art designs. So I hope that you have fun doing this very, let's call it a glam nail web by mascara. And <laughs> I'm sure your customers will love wearing this for the Halloween season. Have fun guys and don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel and tag us in your nail art posts. Chat soon. Bye bye.